telling me you've been out for two years and you've never kissed a girl. We never actually officially met until we were both actually cast to play Molly and Amy. Hey. Oh shit! Woo. Are we gonna go to school or? Nope. What's two plus two? And then we met at lunch for the very first time and Olivia said that we hugged for about 45 minutes, <laughs> held hands as though we were engaged. It was instant and you know you can't fake chemistry. We have to go to a party tonight. What? Nobody knows that we are fun. We just wanted to celebrate this friendship that was so iconically written on the page yeah. and bring it to life in like every way we possibly could. So we decided to live together while we were shooting um, because yes. Molly and Amy have been inseparable for t over 10 years. They yeah. spend every minute together. So we were like, we have to make up for lost time. And there's no way we could have gotten on set without knowing each other and been like, um, hey, do you mind can if I, I like, can I hold you? I'm gonna just can? like link my <laughs> arm into your, if that's and, a, it was like, <laughs> you can't yeah. be polite. You're not polite with your best friend. So by the time we were shooting, cause we'd been living together for a month before we started filming, it was like so trusting, so collaborative, so giving and we were off to the races. We didn't party because we wanted to focus on school and get into good colleges. And it worked. But the irresponsible people who partied also got into those colleges. Can I just say, she directed the crap out Didn't of she? I know. Oh, uh, where did that come from? I, I'm i watching this film. If you met her, you would know. Like, it's just, it was like watching it someone fulfill out of her. their destiny. It was crazy. So, it's so brave and what, so, like, vibrant. When directing. did you feel like you were in good hands? When did you, was there a moment where you felt like, okay, this is gonna work? It was, Instantly. It was my first meeting yeah. with her. Yeah. You know, she pitched this movie as, training day for high school oh. and and say and talking about the high stakes of high school and yeah. high school is war and I knew immediately I mean the script was already I had read the script about four years ago mm -hmm. and I was sort of loosely attached for quite some time just she like, was fully attached I was, there was no one else to play Amy I don't know I, I, I well I just from. well loosely as in like I'm not sure when the movie's gonna happen right, right, right. and but like there was no one yeah there was no okay. one but Yes, so you were, you were waiting for the right Molly. I was waiting for the right Molly, exactly. But uh, but when I met Olivia, she actually was like another thing that made me go, okay, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely on, I'm definitely on board with this. Um, she said that this movie was not gonna be made without Beanie Feldstein. We haven't done anything. We haven't broken any rules. Name one person whose life was so much better because they broke a couple of rules. Picasso. He broke art rules. Rosa Parks. Name another. Susan B. Anthony. God damn it. Do you think this film kind of, I don't know, fills a gap? That that there wasn't something like this out there in the in the universe of, of teen films? Yeah, I really do in the sense that I think I've never seen a, a comedy led by a young woman who is clever and unapologetic and so deeply passionate, let alone two. Mm. And I think the fact that this movie is led by this dynamic duo that all of their humor is rooted in their deep intelligence and their love for one another. They're never competitive. They're too supportive. Yeah. <laughs> They're aggressively yeah, we supportive always see of one two another. characters, you know, to, to, to make it funny, they feel the need to like make fun of each other. Don't say we're having a date night. Why? It's funny your parents think we're boning. What you two have is special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or be so different. Or be competitive. That that's where the humor comes from. We are gonna show each other how much we care about each other. But in this, it's like, no, two girls that in another movie might be the same type can exist in the same space and lead a comedy that is raucous and joyous, but also really heartfelt and real and honest. And I just love seeing this kind of type A character with a friend. And, and vice versa, you know, it's it's so special because I and feel like having different sexualities as well. Absolutely, one hundred percent. She's got a really cute smile. Go talk to her. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. Sharp elbows, not as sharp as your chin. What? Amy. Ow! You don't need to change. No. You don't need to conform. You can be who you are. And you don't need to. You're not gonna find your your own beauty and your own confidence from some other person. You're gonna find it within yourself. It's not a makeover. There's no makeover moment. We always joke that they make under. Like, yeah. They're more dressed up for school than they are for the party. Yeah. <laughs> Put me to your lips. Hand sanitizer. Check. Chapstick. Check. Mace. Listen. It is very important that you keep the safe. Oh! oh! Molly is intense and like 
a little scary. I mean, just in terms of like, she's, well, she's angry, right? I'm, did you have a, a, a backstory for that? I just wondered where did that come from? Or is there something that you connected with in her character, that, that drive that she has? Yeah. Oh, oh, what, what is this? We ask the questions! Oh my God. How old are you? Does not matter! She's the most like ferocious, um, uh, brazen character I've ever been lucky enough to play. And I'm so inspired by that. She's just like, get out of my way and watch me do this, which I really love. Isn't it crazy that it's the last day of school? Are you kidding me, Samantha? I was definitely inspired by some friends of mine growing up who, upon someone meeting them for the first time, would be like, that's an intense human being. Yeah. Um, and I think what I when I cracked Molly, it was when I realized that when people do, when they project that energy, it's because they're actually very insecure. And so they're putting on this armor that is very hard to crack, but, and you think of like her wool blazer in June. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like literally her armor. Um, but then Olivia so beautifully was like, but when she's alone with Amy, she's loose and silly and joyous and like gross and goofy. And she's all the things that you wouldn't expect that girl you see in the hallway to be like. And I think that's like that soft underbelly to her. And the fact that we got to explore both sides of her and celebrate both sides. It's not like the girl in the hallway is too much and that girl is the right girl. It's like both those people inside of her should be celebrated and they are in the film. And that that was really exciting to me. Why would you do theater when you could do debate? Because some of us enjoy working with others. And some of us know how to win. Nobody's winning in that outfit. <laughs>